Mimi's playtime learning can be fun. There's books and stories, toys and games and songs for everyone. Mimi's playtime learning can be fun. Explore, discover, understand how adventures just begun. Hi friends, welcome to Mimi's Playtime. I'm Mimi and this is Gabby and today is Music Monday. We're so excited you joined us today. Well, we're so glad you joined us because today we're going to do something a little bit different from what we've done before on Music Monday. We're going to be learning a little bit about a children's symphony by Russian composer Sergei Prokofiev and this symphony is called Peter and the Wolf. Well, Peter and the Wolf is a children's symphony and all that that means is it's a story to music. And what's special about this symphony is that the characters in the story are represented by certain instruments. And we're going to learn about some of those instruments today. So the first of the characters in the story is Peter himself. And Peter is represented by the stringed instruments and it sounds like this. The next character that we're going to introduce you to is the bird. And the bird is represented by the flute and this is what that sounds like. Did that sound like a bird to you? It did to me too. Another character that we're going to be listening to is the duck. And the duck is represented by the oboe. Let's listen to that now. Another character that we're going to introduce you to from this story is the cat. And the cat is represented by the clarinet. Let's listen to that now. Well, the last of the characters is the wolf. And the wolf is represented by three French horns. Let's listen to that now. Ooh, that sounded scary, didn't it? Well, now that you know what those instruments sound like, I want to tell you the story of Peter and the wolf. It's about a boy called Peter who lives in the woods with his grandfather. He lives in a house at the edge of the woods and his grandfather warns him not to go into the woods or the forest by himself. Do you think he listened to his grandfather? He didn't listen and so he went off to the woods with a cat, a bird and a duck. Do you think they met the wolf there? Well, I'm not going to tell you because I'm going to leave the links below in the description box. So get a grown up to click on that link after you watch this episode today and you can watch the whole story and listen to it with your mum or dad or grown up. It's a great story. So now that you know the instruments and the characters that they represent, we're going to be listening to the music again. This time we're going to do a special action to go with the character in the story. So, the first one we're going to listen to is Peter's music. And when you hear Peter's music, I want you to skip and smile because it's a happy piece of music. So let's do that now. Skip along. The next piece of music we're going to listen to is the flute. Do you remember what the flute represents. That's 
That's right, it's a bird. And when you hear that music, I want you to get your wings up like this. Get on your tippy toes and flutter around like a bird. Okay. <laughs> so let's listen to that now. like a bird well done the next piece of music we're going to listen to is the oboe that represents the duck and when you hear this music I want you to flap your duck wings and I want you to waddle like a duck would okay let's try that now great job Next, we're going to be listening to the music of the cat. And I want you to stretch up tall and proud. And I want you to put your paws in front of you and walk like a proud kitty cat. Okay, let's listen to that now. Did you move like a proud cat? Great job. The last instruments that we're going to listen to are those three French horns that represent the wolf. And when you hear the music, I want you to put your hands up like wolf ears. And I want you to be stalking around like a wolf on the prowl. Okay, let's listen to that now. job you did so well so we're going to play the music again and we want you to listen really carefully and when you recognize the music we want you to do the actions that we showed you so for example if you hear the strings and the special tune for Peter we want you to skip if you hear the oboe or the special music for the duck, we want you to waddle and all of the other ones that we did. We will help you too, so don't worry. We'll play the music and then halfway through, Gabby will show you the sign to make sure that you've got it right. Are you ready to play? Awesome, here we go. Listen carefully. Did you do the cat? Good job! Let's listen to the next one. Did you put your ears up like the wolf? Great job! Let's do the next one. Listen you skippy. That one was for Peter. Great job. Listen. What's that one? That's right, it's the bird, it's the flute. Awesome, last one, let's listen. We hope you had some fun with us today learning about different instruments in the orchestra and about the special musical symphony Peter and the Wolf and if you'd like to listen to the whole symphony we've left some links in the description box below so that a grown-up can help you watch that it's so much fun we love that one don't we Gabby 
Well, we hope you enjoyed it today and we look forward to seeing you next time on Music Monday for some more music fun. We'll see you then. Bye! Mimi's Playtime Learning can be fun Explore, discover, understand How adventure's just begun